everybody welcome to my channel today so i'm diving straight in with the p louise eyeshadow base in the shade 0.5 to prime the lids just taking that on a zoeva 144 concealer brush and creating a sharp line underneath the brow just to help with creating a sharper brow later on then once i'm happy with that i'm blending the primer down all over the eyelid and making sure to take it down the side of the nose and winging it out slightly then once everywhere is covered with the concealer, I'm going to go ahead and start patting that down with the same brush as this sets the base down slightly without having to use any powder to set it. Then once that's all set down, I'm just going to take my fluffy brush to blend out the edges of the concealer so it's easier to blend in when it comes to applying foundation later. So the first eyeshadow I'm using today is the Melchior Cosmetics shadow in the shade Alien. Just using a Zoeva 231 brush and packing that colour on all through the crease. Focusing more on the outer corner as we'll be blanking out the inner corner later on anyway so we don't need to waste product on, on that area. I'm also not worrying about blending at this stage, I'm just building up the colour and creating the shape I want the eyes to take. So I'm just winging it out slightly and creating that nice shape that we want. So once I'm happy with the coverage of Alien, and to blend it out, I'm just going to use the green shade from the NYX Ultimate Brights palette, just on a slightly fluffier brush. I think this one's from the Morphe Eye Credible set, so it doesn't actually have a name. So I'm just taking that shade slightly higher than the previous, and just to add more of a gradient. And don't worry if you lose any of your first colour, because we're going to go back and build that up again later. Then the final and lightest colour I'm going to use is the lighter green shade from the same NYX palette. And that will just act as more of a transition shade that's up closest to the brow just to blend everything out. So then I'm just going back in with, I'm building up my other colours again, just going back and forth, building the colours up until I'm happy with the intensity of them and making sure to blend them out so there's a nice gradient and a nice blend between the colours. So just blending it out with the brush um, I've used the lighter colour for. So I'm just building and building and building the colours until I'm happy with the intensity of them. So I just wanted to deepen up that outer corner slightly more. I'm taking a mixture of the darkest green shade from the Morphe 35B palette with a little smidge of black and just popping that right on that outer corner and blending it up through the crease. And again, blending that out with the brush that we used to pop on Alien. And as I said before, we're blanking out that whole inner corner area of the eye. So I'm using the NYX gel liner in white to do this. And this is a technique I've seen Stacey Marie use a few times. And it completely transforms the look I've been preferring this to a solid cut crease lately. So just using a small fluffy brush. This one's from an eBay brush set. I'm buffing that gel into the whole inner corner area. Making sure to dab off any excess as you don't need much at all. And then for the rest of the lid, I'm taking a touch more of the P. Louise base to cut the crease. So I'm going from where the gel liner ends and continuing the crease along the eye like you normally would do with a regular cut crease eye look. I did mess up slightly and cut the crease a bit too high, but I think I fixed it in the end. So I'm just using my finger there to blend the concealer and eyeshadows together and then just to further blend it all in I'm taking the two darkest green shades that we've used and just adding that all onto the outer corner just to blend them all in together so there's no line between the concealer and the eyeshadows.
So I wanted that inner corner to pop a little bit more so I've set all the gel liner down with the white shadow from the Sample Beauty Cult palette. And then I'm prepping all the area for glitter using the NYX Glitter Glue. This is my favourite part now. I'm taking the Peaches and Cream Loose Pigment in Starlight and just pressing that on all over that a that area to add a nice bit of sparkle and I'm making sure to feather the pigment out slightly where the concealer ends on the eyelid and sort of up towards the brow bone as well. And then just because I wanted to add a bit more colour on the lid, I'm taking the Mermaid's pigment also from Peaches and Cream and very lightly dabbing that over where the green meets the green eyeshadows meet starlight pigment. But unfortunately it didn't pick up very well on camera, but it looked really, really lovely. So next I'm taking the Zoeva Graphic Eyes Liner Pencil in Black to Earth and using that to tight line my upper lash line and then create a nice thin line across the eyelid before blending that out with a bit of black eyeshadow on a flat eyeshadow brush. Then just popping on a touch of Maybelline Mascara ready for lashes and I'm just starting to fill in the under eye while I wait for those lashes to dry. And I did use the same eyeliner pencil on the waterline underneath but I dropped my head completely out of frame when I, when I did this part unfortunately. So I've just prepped the under eye with the P. Louise base and buffing that in underneath. And then from the darkest to lightest green shades that we've used before, I'm just filling in the under eye, focusing the darker shades right close to that waterline, the lower lash line, and then just working my way lighter and making sure it's all connected to the top so that it all blends together seamlessly and looks smooth. And just ensuring that we keep that nice winged shape of the eyes. So I'm just popping on some lashes and then pinching those together with some lash curlers before we apply some chunky glitter. So I'm just taking a mixture of these two eBay glitters and popping that on the inner corner of the eye with the same NYX glitter glue just on this little small pointy brush and just making sure to feather that up towards the eyebrow as well and a bit down slightly under the eye just to create that nice sort of blown out effect. So now we're moving on to the face makeup, so I'm starting off by adding a glow to the skin with the iconic London Illuminating Drops in the original shades because I've got a bit of a tan for once. So I'm just buffing that all over the face using this Real Techniques Duo Fibre Brush to get a nice even finish all over. Then I'm going straight over the top with the Too Faced Born This Way foundation in the shade Porcelain. As always, first just painting that on the skin with a flat foundation brush to build up the coverage. And then once I'm happy with it, I'm just taking this Real Techniques brush, can't remember the exact name of it, but it's a kind of um, buffing brush. And I'm just using that to blend the foundation into the skin to get rid of any brush marks. And I'm just using it sort of how you usually use a beauty blender, but the brush, unlike the beauty blender, won't soak up any excess product. So you'll be left with a nice full coverage base.
For concealer today, I'm using the MAC Studio Fix Foundation in the shade NW10 to highlight under the eyes and down the central areas of the face. So just all the usual areas I would conceal. Then I'm just taking that same foundation brush to buff all of that into the skin and just blend it into the foundation nicely. Then for those harder to reach areas, I'm taking a small fluffy blending brush just so I don't ruin the blend of my eyeshadow that I've spent ages working on. Then just to set all of those concealed areas down, I'm using the Kat Von D Lock It Translucent Setting Powder on this Morphe R31 brush. I'm just pressing that into the skin to make sure nothing moves all day and trying to keep that oiliness at bay. So it's time to bronze, so I'm taking the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Bronzer in the shade Medium Tan, just on this Zoeva cheek brush, I can't remember the exact name right this second. But I'm using that to build up the bronze along the cheekbones and then along the temples and slightly on the jawline. Then I'm just using the same brush I used to pop on the powder just to soften up the edges and tap it back a bit. Then to add a bit more depth and slight contour to those areas I'm taking the Mineralized Skin Finish in the shade Dark just on a little smaller brush and then also running that up the sides of my nose just to bring some dimension back to that area. Next it's highlighter time, so I'm taking the Doll Beauty Highlighter in the shade Shine Bright and just popping that in all the usual spots using the Morphe M510 brush. Then just to tie the highlighter and contour together I'm just popping on a touch of blush from the Morphe 9M blush palette just on this sort of angled contour blush brush. Now I'm moving on to the brows and to fill them through today I'm using the Makeup Revolution Brow Pomade in Dark Brown just on the Zoeva 317 angled brush and as always starting underneath the brown creating a sharp line and extending the tail out and then creating the same sort of shape on top just creating another sharp line bringing that round to connect onto the tail and then I'm just filling through that end of the brow the tail end of the brow with some more product and then when it comes to the front I'm just pu pushing the product upward from the bottom just to create a nice softer effect at the front of the brow Then once I'm happy with them, I'm just setting them in place using the NYX Tinted Brow Mascara in the shade Black. Since we went pretty wild with the eyes today, of course, I've got to do a nude lip again. So I'm using the NYX Liquid Suede Lipstick in Soft Spoken. Woo! 
I've created my own glowy spray by using a mixture of the Superdrug Vitamin E spray and a few different peaches and cream pigments. And that is the finished look today. Thank you so much for giving it a little watch and I hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully I'll see you again soon. Bye!